This is a very interesting development. It's a new finding, 22nd February 2019, Science Alert by Michael Starr. Scientists have just thrown a massive spanner into the story of the dinosaur extinction. 66 million years ago, something changed the world catastrophically. Around 75% of the world's plants and animal species died, wiping out the dinosaur. This marked the end of the Cretaceous period and started a new dawn on Earth, the Cenozoic, the age of the mammals. Isn't that interesting? Every time you have a, a total Earth extinction event, life pops up as something else, out of nowhere, something that does not resemble the past animals whatsoever. So, the end of the Cretaceous, the beginning of the Cenozoic, the age of the mammals. But we don't entirely know what caused it, Fossil and geological records show turbulent time spanning a million years, a giant asteroid impact and intense volcanic activity that spread out across the globe. We've seen various, that's, that's one of the other things I have to go into, the huge number of uh, asteroid craters found all over the world, big ones and small ones. Now, um, this volcanic activity and the giant impact, intense volcanic activity spread across the globe, but the relationship to each other and the extinction event is not clear. Now geologists found a more precise date than ever before, and than ever for the decan traps, volcanic lava flows that cover a region of at least 500 kilometers, that's 310 miles across India. Quote, now that we have Dated decan traps, D A C C A N, traps lava flows in more than different locations. We see that the transition seems to be the same everywhere. I would say that pretty high, with pretty high confidence, that the eruptions occurred within 50,000 years and maybe 30,000 years of the impact, which means they were synchronously within the margin of error. This is what the planetary scientist Paul Wren of UC Berkeley. Geochronology Center says, quote, that is not important validation of the hypothesis that the impact, he says, sorry, that is an important validation of the hypothesis that the impact renewed lava flows. So one came after the other. It was the impact. The impact brought tremendous heat, tremendous pressure to the point of, for example, the one that the asteroid impact that happened uh, in the Gulf of Mexico off uh, the Yucatan Peninsula there, that supposedly liquefied the rocks. It was so hot from the impact. And of course, all the jiggling of the tectonic plates, like when you, when you hit a balloon or a ball on top, it starts jiggling. And that's when, after a little bit, the magma chamber started rattling and the tectonic plates, of course, started uh, repositioning themselves. And you had all this these earthquakes and volcanic activity with, of course, the ash clouds, the ash clouds going all the way up to the atmosphere, coming down, covered with rain and ice coming down as huge uh, ball size and huge uh, boulder size uh, iced objects. And it was, the whole thing was a chaotic uh, mess that was the extinction event. So, yeah, the asteroid and then the uh, volcanic activity. They say this is the important validation of the hypothesis that the impact renewed the lava flows. He says we know that the decant traps were active for a span of about a million years. We also know that the asteroid slammed into Earth sometime during this time, creating the Chicxulub crater under Mexico. That's the one I was talking about in the Gulf of Mexico. But tying these events to the dinosaur extinction has been tricky, they said. Previously, geologists had thought that around 80% of the lava flow had occurred prior to the asteroid impact, which coincides with the mass extinction. And based on new, more precise dating, the team has demonstrated that this was not the case. Instead, their data shows that the eruptions rumbled pretty low-key for around 40, 400,000 years, prior to the impact. After the impact, they escalated. Around 75% of the lava flows 
occurred in the 600,000 years after the impact. So this means we need to rethink the roles of both events. We already know the devastating effects that intense volcanic activity can have on life. It's responsible for the greatest mass, mass extinction in Earth history, as well as some pretty unpleasant times for humans uh, after humans arrived on the scene due to the changing volcanic uh, volcanoes wreaking, uh, wreaking on, the on the climate. But the assumption that the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event had been that the release of greenhouse gases was related to volcanic eruption volume. The volcanoes erupted, spewing out most of their carbon dioxide, their methane, their sulfur dioxide. Then the asteroid hit, everyone was dead. Now, this new result implies a different timeline of events. If only 25% of the lava erupted prior to the impact, that could mean one of two things. The climate change was unrelated to the volcanic greenhouse gases, or the greenhouse gases leaked out of the subterranean magma chambers unrelated to lava flows. We know this can happen. It's been observed in active volcanoes today, such as Etna in Italy and Popocatapeltle in Mexico. Uh, we are suggesting, Rene said, that it is very likely that a lot of gases that come from magma systems precede eruptions. They don't necessarily correlate with eruptions. So does that mean that the asteroid played no role? Well, not necessarily. The thing was huge. It left the world's second largest known impact crater, 150 kilometers, that's 93 miles in diameter. Although it was half a world away from the decan traps, the timing can't be ignored. The team believes it triggered earthquake activity that kicked the traps into high gear delivering a one-two punch to the ecosystem. However, the last flood basalt eruptions ended a million years, mil uh, millions of years ago, and there's nothing comparable we can study in action today, so we have to piece together what evidence we have. This can lead to contradictions. Another study released at the same time has asserted, based on a different dating method, zircons between the lava flows rather than the lava itself that the eruptions occurred in pulses rather than continuously, which would produce a different scenario again. So we suspect we have not heard the last of this fascinating debate, especially since understanding the mechanisms of climate change and mass extinction could mean the ultimate survival of our species. The team's research has been published in the journal Science. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.